Um, well, I'm Jonathan Ruan, and I thought I would tell you a little bit about what I've learned on my journey so far. And I was going to break it into three areas, what to do, um, how to do it, and then I didn't have a category for everything else, so I call them general lessons. The number one most important thing is you, the entrepreneur. So you've got to be able to, um, I guess, see what the opportunities are and be able to apply these models, but you've got to be able to do it in a way that you're comfortable with. If you look at the idea of Seed Bank, it says that a startup is a temporary organization designed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. I think it's really important. We talked a lot about uh, talk earlier on about the idea of no. And a lot of strategy, you know, the best test of strategy is, you know, when you present a strategy, and I've been involved in lots of big, complicated strategy documents that we did in P&G. And, and, you know, the thing, the greatest test of them all is like, you know, what are the things you're not going to do? And sometimes I have to do complementary documents as well as the main strategy saying, here are the things that we're not going to do. And that's a really interesting test. And so if you think about your startup and what it is and what it's not. So if a startup is this temporary organization and really you try and embrace that, you're not building something that's going to stay in its current model for very long. In fact, the quicker it's destroyed, the better. And hopefully by destroyed, I mean, that's because you've moved on to the next phases of scaling and becoming a global massive success. So the organization is temporary and you need to look at it like that and you need to get comfortable with breaking it and moving it. So try not to get too caught up in execution type activities. I don't mean that by, I mean, there's no point optimizing your um, Google AdWords until you figured out what the hell it is you're selling. There's no point doing you know, an ad roll campaign, a remarketing campaign if you've never talked to a customer. So focus on the things that are unique to startups. And the great thing about it is there's lots of big companies out there and there's tremendous amounts of industries um, that are ripe for disruption. But they won't be disrupted if you operate like a big company. They're incumbents for a reason, work to your strengths. And so the strength is be about really only having this ridiculously small set of resources, maybe yourself, maybe two or three other people, and to think that you could disrupt 100,000 person, billion dollar companies. The only way you can do that is by really focusing on your strengths. And your strengths is not into large scale execution yet. It's a focus on, on, the, on the small stuff. Uh, definition as well is you're looking for something repeatable. So you may have to talk to a lot of customers to see the pattern recognition that's really going to enlighten you as to what they really need. You've got to allow failure to come into the room. That sounds a bit corny. But um, we certainly failed at this where we spent too long driving on something because we thought it was a good idea. If the market doesn't think it's a good idea and the, val and the hypothesis comes back and it gives you negative feedback, there's a point in which you have to accept that and move on. But only you can judge as to when's the right time and when's not. And the lean startup will tell you that you know the data will tell you everything and absolutely engross yourself in the data. Don't try to be a unicorn, so ignore 100% everything that happened to Facebook and Google and Apple because they're unicorns and, and even Airbnbs and, um, and you know, whatever, the, everyone reads them in TechCrunch, right? So don't try to be the unicorn, try to be, aim to be, you know, the company that actually makes a couple of hundred million a year and is actually valued at a billion because it's only about 20 or 30 times their earnings. Aim to be that billion dollar company because the way they've gone about the hundreds of thousands of decisions on a day-to-day -day basis that got them there is repeatable. Being a unicorn is rolling the dice. So if you focus, you increase your chances. I wish you all the best if you do become one of the unicorns, but if you're looking for a process to get to being a billion dollar company or achieving your vision for whatever you want to do to change the world or just to have a Lamborghini, whatever it is, if you want to increase your chances, focus on the repeatable skills and that's different than being a unicorn.